Good morning, Tracy. This is Mr. Wong. Today is Friday, 5th uh, June. Today we'll be going through yesterday's homework, which is your converting of mass from kilograms and grams to grams, and also from grams to kilograms and grams. And after today's lesson, uh, after going through the homework, uh, you will start on work problems on mass, which again, you will use the RICE method, you will use the NTUC to do your work problems for related to mass. Alright, so with that, we'll start with um, yesterday's homework, going through a bit. Okay, so um, you realize in the example yesterday and also in the instruction video yesterday that I would really want you to break the 2kg up or to change the 2kg into 2000 grams or change the kg part into grams and then just add the remaining part to give you the answer. So I would like, i seen some of you doing it, thank you very much. Okay, but some of you, uh, maybe it's happening inside your mind, but try not to do that. Try always to write down um, the steps you take to do, especially now is the practice part of it. Okay, so question one, the first part I've done already, so let's go to the second part. So what I have here, if you can see, remember I said that do try to read the skills also. So you realize for this um, skill is definitely 1 kg plus, that's why it's 1 kg plus. It's between, the needle is pointing between 1 kg to 2 kg, so it's 1 kg plus. There are 10 um, parts in between 1 kg and 2 kg. So 10 parts represents 1 kg, which is 1,000 grams. So if 10 parts is 1,000, one part is 100. So it points to the second marking, so it's 200. Okay, 100 plus 100. So same thing, like what I want you to do, this is actually 1,000 grams. All right, so um, 1 kg, change it to grams. So this is 1,000. So 1,000 plus 200 give you 1,200 grams. Okay, so this is quite straightforward. So similarly, looking at the other, uh, the last skill on the page, um, this potatoes is between 4 kg to 5 kg, this is 4 kg plus. Again, there are 10 parts between what 4 kg and 5 kg. So 10 parts represents 1 kg, 10 parts represent 1,000. So one part represents 100. And if you count from 5, you count backwards, so it's 900, 800. And you realize it is pointing right in between the 8 and 9 marking, so it's 850. So change 4 kg into 4000 grams. Okay, write it down over here. Therefore, this is 4000. And this is what is left 850. So put together, you get 4850 grams. Okay, so that is the answer for the potatoes. Okay. And of course, arrange the objects. Remember, is to arrange the objects. Okay, Darwish is to arrange the objects, not to arrange the mass. Okay, please take note, Darwish. So I want to start the lightest one. You realize out of all the lightest, actually your apples. So let's write down apples. Okay, the lightest is actually your apples, followed by your cabbage. Okay, so over here, it is cabbage. And then after that, it's your potatoes. So potatoes is the heaviest of all three. Right. So uh, read the question properly. They want you to arrange the objects, not arrange the mass. So apples is the lightest, potatoes is the heaviest. All right. So with that, let's go on to the next page. Okay, so yesterday, homework is quite straightforward. So it should, and it's quite similar to the one we have done when we convert kilometers and meters into meters and the other way around as well all right so let's do on page one two uh two one two so what we need to do um just now we converted kg and grams to just grams now we do the reverse so when you do the reverse you need to show me the number bond so i've done the first part with you now i'm going to do the second one with you okay so i know that um 2200 grams i can split it into 2000 and 200 and that's why the first part you see is 2000 and the other one is your 200 right so with that we know that 2000 grams is also equals to 2 kg okay so i'll put a 2 here and then what's remaining is your 200 grams so the answer is 2 kg 200 grams okay so you realize that this is quite straightforward okay so similarly do the same for the bottom 3745 grams i have 3000 over here i have 745 over here so first part put your 3000 in and your 745 over here 
3000 grams equals to 3 kg and this part is the same that's why it's 3 kg 745 okay and then for the crabs split it up so you have 4000 and then you have the 328 so I have 4000 328 over here so 4000 grams is 4 kg what is left behind is 328 grams so 4 kg 328 grams okay the next part is actually found on page 213 but I cut it so it makes sense for you to see on online on Cascade all right so I want the lightest Lightest, I got 6 kg, 2 kg, 3 kg, 4 kg. So definitely the fish is the lightest. Okay, so fish is the lightest. And then you realize the one that is 6 kg is the heaviest. So it is actually the lobster. Okay, so I want to arrange the seafood. Once again, it's arrange the seafood, not to arrange the mass. So in terms of uh, who is the heaviest, the heaviest is the lobster. Followed by the crabs, followed by the prawns, and followed by the fish. Okay, so for the fish is the lightest. Right. Okay. So um, this is quite simple. If you have understood it for length, this part is actually the same thing. Right. So this is the answer for page two one. 2 to half of 2 1 3. So now let's go to more practices on converting kg and grams into just grams. Okay, so same thing, follow what I said just now, convert the kg into grams and then put them together. So over here, 3 kg is 3000 grams. 3000 plus 86, 3086. Okay, quite straightforward over here. Over here, this is 6 kg, 6000 grams plus 20 grams 6020 okay this is where some of you will get tricked but luckily when i check your work now you've got tricked do not just simply put 6 and 20 together becomes 620 no change it okay so 8 kg 8000 8000 plus 324 8324 all right same thing 9 and 3 are uh, 9 kg 9 kg is 9000 so it's 9003 Hey, do not just write 93 to get up become 93. It doesn't make sense. Okay. 7 kg is 7,000. 7,000 plus 645. 7,645. Okay. And the last one. 9 kg is 9,000. 9,000 plus 728. 9,728. Okay. So it's quite simple. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually quite simple straight quite quite straightforward for everything okay so now let's go to the next page which is the last page now we do the reverse you convert everything in grams to kg and grams so use a number bond this part will be 3000 okay and then the other side will be 960 so 3000 is 3 kg 3 kg and 960 grams okay Alright, so the next one, it is 4,000, this one part. The next part is 72. So 4,000 is 4 kg, 4 kg and 72. Next one, it is 5,000, followed by 140. So 5,000 is 5 kg and 140 grams. After that, it will be 7,000 and 644. So we know that 7 kg, 7,000 is 7 kg, 7 kg, 644 grams, 8,000, and the other part is 17, so it is 8,000 grams is 8 kg and 17 grams, and the last one, 9,000 and 586, so 9,000 grams, 9 kg, 586. Right, so straightforward, same thing. Order the um, they want you to order the fruits, don't order the mess. Um, this one surprisingly, that which got correct. Okay, so uh, 
remember to organize to read the question first. So I want the lightest fruit first, 2 kg, 1 kg, 1 kg. So I know these two, one of them must be the lightest. 1,500 grams, this one is actually, let's change to just grams. Uh, this is 1,800 grams. Okay, so the lightest must be my oranges. So I'm going to write oranges over here. So oranges is my lightest. Okay, after that will be my pear. At 1,800 grams. And then after that will be my apples. At 2 kg and 300 grams. And then the last one will be my grapes. Okay, so this is the answer for yesterday's homework. It's quite straightforward once you get the hang of it. Always remember 1 kg is 1000 gram. The other way around, 1000 gram, 1 kg. Okay, so with that, today we'll uh, start on um, mass work problems. Make sure that you use rhyme rice method. Make sure you draw the models out. You need to draw. You don't draw, you don't know what to do. Okay, and ask yourself is it more, is it less, the sort of thing. Okay, so with that, I will give you some instructions before you start on your work problem. So uh, watch the video on the instructions for work problem, then get started. Alright, see you tomorrow.